The Ministry of Health has been conducting food handlers training programs throughout Grenada and Cariacou. During the month of July, a comprehensive nine-module training program was held for food handlers and people desirous of entering the service. Andre Worm, Chief Environmental Health Officer in the Ministry of Health, explains how the training programs benefit Kayak Mass 2020. Well, Cariacou in particular, uh, they have been part of the program for many years and what I can tell you is Karakou in 2018 uh, 34 persons were what received training in food handling and and safe preparation etc now they have been uh, they were issued with food badges the badges has a, a duration of, of one year so um, that badge is currently in, in force. That badge is currently um, uh, still viable and workable for, for, the, for the event, for the, for the current carnival uh, event. Worm says the protocol remains the same as previous years for obtaining food badges for vendors wishing to have food stalls during the festivities. In the new food, hand, in the new food safety legislation, the Food Safety Act of 2015, there is a, a criteria for persons who would engage in street food vending that they should have a, a permit. Now, we have been utilizing the issuance of a food badge as a, as a sort of permit for those events. So while the basic medical certificate gives you the authority in law to sell food, um, we still move to the, 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 the higher level of where, where you would engage in street food vending that you know can be certified as a, 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 as a person to engage in that kind of activity. And you would be issued with a, a, a permit that would last for one year. Patrons are also reminded to look for food badges when purchasing from roadside vendors during the festivities. Tony Julian, GBN News.